The shooting massacre in Tucson, Arizona, that killed a nine-year-old and put a congresswoman in a critical condition, has led to calls for gun control laws in the U.S. to be re-examined. Party's Laurie Huffinist, also known as the resident, took to the streets of New York City to find out how people feel about guns in today's society. Do guns kill people or do people kill people? This week, let's talk about that. I think it's okay to own guns, not concealed weapons. What's the difference? Uh, walking around in public with a gun is probably not a good thing, but I don't have anything against hunting. So how do we prevent people who have guns for hunting from taking them out in public? Uh, you have laws against that. People can't walk around nude in public. What about the argument that you should be able to have a gun for protection? You can use other objects for protection, I think. The more guns you have, the more they are, you're able to use them, actually. And the easier it's to have it, the more you will, you will use it. I can't believe how um, free you are to have guns here in America. But what about the argument that if guns are outlawed, then only criminals have guns? Mm. Yeah, I guess it may, it may all go underground, but I still think there should be a, a lot more legislation on who can and can't have guns. Is that possible in a violent society, though? I think it is possible. It's like politics, you know? People don't agree with politics, but, you know, there's things that, have, that need to be done and laws that need to be passed, so... Do you think politics or guns are more violent and deadly? I think politics are more violent and deadly than guns. You know, it's part of humanity's constant struggle to figure out how to... Uh, before the bad thing happens, prevent it. It comes down to education with whatever the topic is, I think. Yes. Whether you think guns or people kill people, I think we can all agree on the bottom line that violence is rarely the answer.